Nanofill is a unique low volume syringe that's developed for improved microinjection. This is a 100 microliter nanofill syringe and it also goes down to a 10 microliter size. The nanofill system uses a seal system based on a 0.46 millimeter outside diameter for the shank. So any needle or tubing with an outside diameter of 0.46 should fit the nanofill system. So I'm going to show you how to install your needle so you prevent damage to the gasket and keep your needle straight. First of all, always wear surgical gloves when you're handling it to keep your skin oils off the needle and the components. So to change or install a needle, you're going to loosen this screw cap by turning it counterclockwise to release the compression on the seal. If there's a needle in place, you just want to pull it out and it should come out easily. Then we're going to remove the screw cap and the gasket from the syringe. Okay, you can see the gasket in there. We're going to push the blunt end of the needle through the cap, the screw cap, like this. You can clean the thick part of this needle of the shank that goes into the gasket with alcohol to remove any oils that have been left behind by handling to prevent the needle from slipping and moving. Otherwise, if that's got oils on it, it will slip and move away from the zero set position. We're going to push the gasket up into the screw cap and then we're going to place the needle into the syringe body here and align it to the zero mark and then we're gonna tighten it down. Push the needle in far enough to observe the shank through the glass syringe body. In general, the needle should be pushed in until the end of the shank is positioned at the zero mark on the scale. Going beyond this position won't damage the syringe or the needle, but it will prevent the plunger from being able to travel all the way down to the zero mark. And once the shank is in the right position, then just tighten the screw finger tight. The Nanofill syringe should only be used when the barrel is wet, otherwise friction can damage that Teflon tip of the plunger in there. So don't pull the barrel of the plunger repeatedly when it's dry. Now, if this needle happens to get clogged, this plunger can generate a very high pressure, exceeding 10,000 PSI due to the small cross-sectional area of the piston. The gasket in the syringe will not be able to hold the needle in position under such a high pressure, and it might move and shoot out like a bullet. So never point the syringe at a person and always wear protective eyeglasses when you're using a very small needle. That's how you change a needle in a nanofill syringe. And if you have any questions, just give us a call.